turned out of that reluctant father we've been telling you about, a dad who wrote a piece for People.com confessing that when his daughter was born, it was not exactly love at first sight. This failure to bond is a little more common than you might think, and ABC's Bianca Goladriga has the story. We're almost home. One, two, it's supposed to be one of the happiest moments of your life, epitomized in this scene from Knocked Up. I love you so much, too. But for some, that joy isn't so automatic. I was waiting for this tsunami of love, and, and nothing happened. Photographer and author Philip Toledano confesses it wasn't all sugar spice and everything nice when it came to the birth of his now four-year-old daughter, Lulu. I was very perplexed by my sort of lack of immediate connection. In an excerpt from his new book, The Reluctant Father on People.com, Toledano admits when Lulu was born, he had trouble developing an emotional bond. I love the part in your book where you refer to Lulu as an alien. Lulu was screaming her head off and I said to Carla, God, doesn't that just make you crazy? And Carla said, I know, don't you just want to pick her up and hold her? I said, no, I want to throw her out the window. <laughs> Toledano revealing he wasn't prepared for the change in his marriage with wife Carla of nine years. I was not number one anymore and I want to be number one. I think I got a little angry because it was a very special time for me. Mm -hmm. You know, guys don't get an opportunity to really talk about it. Why write the book? I hope that maybe um, it will make people more likely to be honest with each other. People make mistakes and I'm flawed like everyone else. Carla, as a wife, I mean, I, I can imagine there were moments where you thought that your husband was probably being a bit selfish. You know, all men, including my husband, <laughs> is capable of transformation. Toledano says that transformation happened as Lulu began to grow. What? Ah! And now he says he's come full circle. She's such a odd, peculiar, lovely, funny thing. And, yeah, I mean, I'm going to get all uh, teary. Um, and that's what's so lovely. For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York. Mm, looking like he's doing well right now. We asked everyone to vote in our GMA Flash poll. Should dads confess their feelings more often? Here's what you had to say. Not even close. Landslide, 91% said yes. Can we and talk to the 9%? The 9% <laughs> we can talk about the, the, another day, another yeah. time. We have a familiar face here. Good friend, Andrew Shu, <laughs> co-founder of Cafe Mon, husband of Amy Robot. So you got to weigh in here right now. You know, you, you check in with the experts all the time. Is this really more, a lot more common than we think? I, I think that dads more and more are divulging their true feelings. If you think of the old days where men would, you know, smoke cigars and wait to find <laughs> out what, what the sex was of their kid and, and, and you know, now it's, it's kind of all, we're all together, we're in the delivery room and you're going to be a mom slash dad right off the bat and I think, I think it's interesting that he, that he's willing to, to kind of be honest and say, look, this, this alien has taken over my life and I have no connection to it, but in a weird way I feel it's also a little sad because this is the moment where he's decided yeah. I'm no longer the the selfish one, I'm going to be a giver. And, and that day that kid smiles, you become a, a giver. It's mm -hmm. got to be difficult for any parent, father, mother, to admit that they haven't quite gotten that bond. I mean, to come forward yeah. and, and to speak on behalf of those who, who don't. I know, but all you guys are yeah, dads. There's not much for dad to do the first several months. Yeah, it's true. No, it, there is. Mm -hmm. There is. <laughs> there is. I, Just I to give a break, you know, don't you think? I, I, think it, I think dads, the more you step up at the beginning, and actually going back to the traditional role of a dad being the protector of the family, if you think of taking, this is a dependent in the biggest way, and if you're the one in the middle of the night that does the feedings, if you're the one that says, I'm going to take it for the stroll in the morning, like, can you really be the protector of the mom and the child at the beginning, then, you, then you're really being a dad. Yeah, yeah. What, what was it like for you? Well, I, I, uh, I did a lot of that, and I feel, I feel really glad that I did that middle of the night feedings yeah. and you know, when the kid throws up, you're the one, and yeah. I, I feel like that, that really does create a different kind of connection. But I think I'm also kind of trying to go back to some more of those traditional roles where you really feel like you're the one who's standing up for your wife and your kids and I think that th this guy actually it's good that he's he's having the discussion because now we're talking about we're talking it. the dialogue